Alrighty, look at that guys, our farm is doing well. Welcome, welcome by the way. Welcome back everyone and uh, also let me welcome our new subscribers for, for taking their time to hit that subscribe button, appreciate that. And for everyone, again, again, I couldn't say this enough, but thank you, thank you again for taking your time to watch the video. That would really mean a lot to me how much more if you say hi in the comments as I myself really love reading and responding to the comments as well. I Although I do it per batch just to save time. So we've missed five days and fortunately or four days this is the fifth day i'm recording it because due to a certain audio issue and if this video cannot make it in the channel then that means i've fixed it <laughs> so today is raining and uh, i think and it's mine's birthday nice however although today is raining i'm thinking of to go into the mines hello chickens you look so pretty go into the mines then we are not that lucky but it doesn't matter as long as we go there we do our thing being lucky doesn't motivate me i don't even wait for motivation i'd rather be disciplined than being motivated it's more effective at least for me being disciplined to do even if you don't want to do to do it especially that it's a good thing and i appreciate you all for really uh accepting the uh, most recent video the one that is titled not for the faint-hearted it's titled that way because i actually professed my faith to my lord and savior jesus christ for the very first time that video and uh i've got a nice response to it and i'm so surprised so anyway that's why it's entitled not for the faint-hearted because you know every christian knows about it and with that being said everyone is welcome here everyone this is a place where we could enjoy our favorite games especially stardew valley oh sorry for today guys no strolling outside it's raining that's for our animal friends so we got two sunflower seeds let's just plant them this one goes here and then uh this other seed goes there all right and by the way if you hear some background noise uh please don't mind i'm recording at the in my in our living room and uh you know i don't have any other place to record hopefully in the future we'll find a more recording friendly environment okay now i don't know what to do again <laughs> i am in this st state of limbo so uh let me just gather information so we have two thousand gold oh we can buy a new cow but mm, two thousand gold uh we have a uh, full of energy but uh it says here uh i'm wondering if i may ask guys please help me in the comments allow pregnancy will they get pregnant all by themselves or do i need to do something else that i'm not sure about oh, it's 11 a.m now i think we should head straight to the mines let me just put our my boots here in our collection chest and our eggs inside our egg chest and let's head straight to the mine guys let's go oh i always forget these our uh, mushrooms let me just pick it up real quick yummy common mushrooms so yeah on the days that i was not able to i was able to record but it failed but what i did is that uh the um, most unforgettable thing that i did or uh, that happened is the start the valley fair it was fun and uh I think by far that's the most fun and exciting event in the valley because everyone's there. There were some a lot of games. Abigail was so happy. She's conquered all the games effortlessly. She's a natural gamer. Alrighty, we're in the 18th, 80th level. Looks like we're in a different biome now. And I can hear, this is my first time actually going as deep as this. The entirety of my Stardew Valley life. Wait, hold on. How come I'm not able to hit? Okay, there you go. I don't know what's under this. I'm, I hear something weird. It looks like a uh, molten it, it sounds like a molten lava it'd be because you know if, if you're going down to earth there should only are lavas down i think the earth is kind of a hot pot where you know we are the ingredients and we are cooked to to we were cooked inside the pot we're seasoned with salt and all those good stuff to have a good flavor for the world to make it more pleasing kind of weird but that's what i see it i think oh so golds are here nice <laughs> there we go we hit twice all oh, to the two enemies at once <laughs> all righty yeah that reminds me actually the teachings of the holy bible is that we are christians are the salt of the earth it's like we are the one who give flavor to the earth and if the salt loses its saltness then what's the purpose right that means if christians will keep on sinning we will lose our purpose our saltness so that's why one of the reason why uh the, the previous video is entitled not for the faint-hearted is you know it's hard not to sin it's easier to sin than not to sin all right we're going down to the 83rd level oh boy this guy is what what the wait hold on hold on oh my gosh okay we have a void essence oh iron boy nice that guy is dangerous he's fast and he, he's not knocked back that easily okay we need to prepare we're full let's just throw this weed just throw this down we have a lot of them okay he's 
I mean to us guys, let him come. Let him come so he will tire out. And once he's tired out, we'll strike him hard. As hard as we can. Okay, let's run. There we go. What's the name of this guy? Oh, so he, he's giving uh, void essences like almost 100%. Hmm, okay. Man, gold here are a treasure. <laughs> let's see, let's see. But I'm not really looking for gold yet. I'm looking for earth quartz. Looks like we're just gonna have to have a, a secondary um, gold to craft. Because initially I wanted to craft this mayonnaise machine, which we need earth crystal crystals and unfortunately earth crystals are very hard to find i just i remember i only found like one one since the beginning since i started the game so that's really really uh not profitable so uh we'll see um what is next so i think we'll just focus on crafting tappers and uh tappers and also grab pots all right still 6 p.m maybe we could do Oh, we almost died. Man, I didn't notice. The creatures here is really scary and pack a punch. You know what? Let's just go up. I don't want to take the risk. Looks like we might need a lot of armor at this time. Alrighty, from that run, we got two slimes, two void essences, one magma geod, white algae, fire quartz, 14 gold. Wow. One iron bar. That's it. That was a good run. So it's 6 p.m. Uh, let's say hi to Linus first. We still have a lot of energy. Maybe, maybe we could go fishing right yeah because i i frantically ate a lot of field snacks because i was afraid to, to die and lose all the things that we've got in the mines this is a great gift wow i wish they changed their voice lines right i know there's a mod for it but i'm afraid to install um like all the mods because you know 1.6 is coming and i don't want to break the game when the 1.6 comes and also there was this one one of our valued youtube um not youtuber but the uh, uh, subscriber he asked for the mod list that i'm using i'll just post it i'll just uh compost it and post it in the description and also response to his comments but basically this is these are just quality of life mods let's just uh put all these wonderful produce in our community center so this is just quality life mods and some aesthetics mostly ellie's mod so this pumpkin is going here all right awesome and the corn corn is going also in full crops bundle and we've completed it nice and now we have a bee house awesome we have two bee houses now yeah. Look at this cute little guy. His wait. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Um. Now for the wild honey goes to the artisan goods. Mm -hmm. There you go. And then we have this fire quartz for the geologist. Alrighty. Now we just need earth crystal, which is very hard to find. Sir. Surprisingly, I think earth crystals are just, you know, uh, early level minerals, but I'm not sure why I'm not finding it. Please help me out in the comments, guys, if you know which floor is it very abundant. Thanks much. Okay, I think that is it. All right, Leah is still here in the saloon. Let's say hi to her. Is the only thing that matters to me here. This is a really nice gift. <laughs> She's always saying the same thing. Everyone else is. I I'm, I'm can't wait to for the 1.6 because there's a lot of things at contents that are new and hopefully I'll be able to at least reach grand pot evaluation evaluation for 1.6 comes so that's one of my goal anyway i mentioned earlier that uh instead of making a mayo machine because it's for now it's really unrealistic but it's gonna be still one of our priorities um we'll be focusing on uh setting up our tappers let's just do small stuff man we don't really that need that much money because we are doing well we're not getting hungry so why do complicated stuff right for now let's just take it step by step and also we need crab pot because i've chosen the forager profession so i think that's gonna be a, an awesome combination with uh being a uh, setting up a tapper and a crab pot i'll just put them in one place near the foraging area that would be cool we have our bee house nice <laughs> bees are happy they're dancing so we're gonna be selling these you know, sunflower and a corn hopefully uh, at least we'll have and we'll have some uh, income for today and unfortunately although we're able to find a bee house and we had fun in the in the mines we're not able to give minus gift so uh Oh, that's fine. We'll just make it up to her. And uh, yeah, let's just check out the weather for tomorrow. Okay, the bees are going to be happy. They'll have assistance in pollinating our flowers and uh, living off the land. Yeah, yeah, we've set up our silo. All is set up. Good to go. And good night, everyone. So on the 18th day of fall, year one, we got 253 gold. <laughs> Not bad. And welcome, welcome, welcome to the 19th day of fall, year one. All right, nice. I always hear a roster 
roster, but I don't have one. I wonder where it came from. Maybe a wild roster, right? Oh, wait, hold on. I think it's, it's pronounced rooster. It's not roster because it's raw. It's rooster. Yeah, I'm still in the process of teaching myself proper English, by the way. It's not my first language or native tongue. Thanks for understanding, guys. I appreciate it. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Finally, our chickens can go outside. They're going to be very happy. As of now, they are. Like, they're full. They finished all our hay. Yes, they were not able to go outside, right, to eat some fresh food. Look at that. They're having fun. A bunch of them. <laughs> and thank you. So happy to see his chicken friends. <laughs> Hello, big guy. How's your nap? Oh, he's not happy. Okay, okay. Maybe we forgot. Oh, they're so... They're not happy. We forgot to feed him them. Oh, I'm so sorry, guys. Hold on. Let me just feed you. There we go. So only one gave us milk. <laughs> All right, hold on, guys. They're so excited to go out. They keep on mooing. All right. And you are free. <laughs> nice. Uh -huh. They're free. Okay, now time to say hi to our props and give them a drink. So Caroline would like to buy a pumpkin. Okay, let's take that request. So let's see if we have a pumpkin, which we do have. Awesome. All right. Got one close to our list. And look at that, guys. All our jellies are ready. Uh -huh. A lot of salmon berries jelly and i think we are ready to sell all of them no not yet i want to preserve all our berries and sell them we only have three remaining so and also there are like nine here so let's just wait and our corn is ready nice 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 today is such a bountiful day <laughs> although we've missed Marnie's birthday yesterday but i'm glad at least we have an opportunity today to give caroline her requested pumpkin uh, for her daughter that means abigail i think so and again guys thanks again for watching me enjoy the game and uh, if you're new here feel free to like and subscribe so we have like 2000 gold i think i'll just go ahead and buy more cows to marnie because i was thinking of waiting for one of our cows to get pregnant but it seems that uh, it's not happening. So we'll just do what we can do. We have the resources, so why not, right? All right, done watering our lovely plants. So we've harvested uh, this corn. Awesome. We've got two sunflower seeds from that. Oh boy, now we have 23 gold ore. Let's let's just go ahead and uh, smelt them. <laughs> and it looks like we're running out of wood. We only have two available. Looks like we'll be chopping more trees. But let's see first what uh, else do we need for the topper so we need more copper and yeah more wood and for the yeah crab pot also need more copper and wood it looks like we're gonna camp in uh the earlier levels so we could get copper and wood for now let's get copper after or no wood after we give this pumpkin to caroline oh there's a lot of forageables here wild plum a hazelnut aha uh -huh. and we've leveled up our foraging skill awesome awesome sauce looking for a buddy to bring me see i have a lot of seeds now i got you bro. i got you bro hi abigail how you doing i wish the season lasted a longer a little longer when the wind really peaks up i almost feel like a kid again <laughs> yeah absolutely well uh, where can we find carol oh we could oh we could actually visit this is abigail's place not sure oh also so we could oh yeah this is abigail's uh room uh he has a guinea pig david the guinea pig <laughs> all right spirit board mm, looks like she's having doing some spiritualism stuff and what's this skull doing here <laughs> weird looks like it's empty caroline is not here maybe she's outside with with the girls oh she's in the museum let's go all right it looks like we have a new bulletin board uh no what's this board again this other bulletin board version two so let's choose um require assistance to tracking down a rare and dangerous prismatic slime okay i'm putting a little promotion just for fun if anyone can collect a thousand wood in a week okay let's do this this is doable especially that we're planning to uh get or to craft a lot of topper and crab pot hey guys hey guys hey kids the future of pelican town vincent and uh jazz oh mom's lentil soup tonight <laughs> lentil is good i know i don't know you oh uh do you want some uh berry oh i'm so sorry you hate it <laughs> how about okay not fun okay i'll stop how about how about you thanks looks like everyone every adult loves black bears except for kids i should have given them ice cream but alex is close all right hello caroline wait hold on please here's your requested pumpkin for your daughter oh a pumpkin it's a good one abigail will be so happy she should be totally a fine looking day now we're done here let's go ahead it's 5 p.m uh let's just uh hey let's say hi to willie all right let's just uh pick up some clams since we're here near the beach oh i think it's gonna love the clam wait hold on bro there you go oh a present thank you you're welcome nice we have some corals and sea urchins 
Uh -huh. So I mentioned that we're going to go chopping trees today, but since we're here, let's just go fishing. It will take a lot of time for us to... We're already here, right? Let's just uh, be happy with what we are, with what, what we have in front of us. All right, we got the seaweed. I'm happy with that. That's fine. Okay, looks like we got a hit. Awesome. We have an albacore, 26 inches. Hey, I forgot again. We need to give seaweed to Sam. Should we go? No, I don't think so. Chances are Sam is already at home and we, you know, the door is locked. So let's just, let's just stay here. And for our last uh, fish, we have an albacore, 28 inches. That's huge. And now it's 10 p.m., guys. It was fun fishing. Let's head straight home. And uh, we still have like 30% en energy left, though. But we still need to organize stuff before going to bed or before fainting. <laughs> hey, oh, awesome. We have a cutscene with Abby. Abigail, this looks interesting. There's a sword behind her and a lantern. I guess you're wondering why I'm in the graveyard at this hour. Yes, I am. Well, I'm here because it's the best place in town to find some privacy. And I'm all sweaty because I've been practicing my swordsmanship. <laughs> hey, what? You think I'm too weak to swing a blade? Uh, she's mad. No, I just want you to be safe, Abigail. You don't have to wield the blade. You just have to, you know, steer, stay near to me. I'll keep you safe. I'm sorry, I guess I'm getting a little defensive. You see, I want to explore the mountain caves, but I know it's too dangerous to go there unhar unarmed. You've used a sword before, haven't you? Yes, it's exciting, yes, but only in self-defense. Yes, it's dangerous, you should stay safe. Yeah, you should stay safe, Abigail. You know what? The word of God says that women were also created just like men to help each other so and also to protect each other so yes it's an it's exciting <laughs> see you understand why i'm out there yeah absolutely i've lived in a valley my whole life but i've never really done anything memorable i want to go on an adventure abigail there is so spooked out dad <laughs> she's in shock i've been looking all over for you your mother wants you to come home and help with a dinner all right guys we'll come back to the 20th day so i the cutscene earlier, I'm so sorry. I, I forgot to unpause the recording. So the cutscene with Abigail. Oh man, I'm so bad at this, but I'm glad you're still here. So what happened is that Abigail uh, got caught. Abigail told us that she wants to, to well, say hi to her friends. She wants to um, go adventuring and looks like Perry was actually hiding behind the tree and hearing everything. And Perry was did not agree. It's, of course, she's a lady. She's still young. And uh, of course, a father would want Abigail to always be safe. I myself is a dad so i totally understand perry although i i understand also that there's there's a time wait uh, just do inventory there's a time that a child will grow up and then they will go into an adult stage and they will do what they want to do as long as they're safe i think abigail is at that stage so she's really want she really want to explore the caves and all that although there's nothing wrong with it but the way uh, abigail responded to perry although perry was kind of reprimanded her uh a, a little strongly so abigail was a little rude to her, her, her dad harry which i don't agree at all it's for me i've i've learned that there's you know what's the most important thing is that yeah it's good to be always on the right side but you can be right while in the process ruining your relationship with someone especially it's your family and loved ones and friends right so i've learned that you know it's better to prioritize the relationship than being right and uh, i think the word compromise comes from comes in so it's better to compromise and prioritize the relationship because again you can be right but at the same time not happy because of your relationship has been uh ruined which is the most important thing ever so those are just things that i learned sorry that i rambled about it and also i think that's what the bible teaches also to have a personal relationship with jesus christ that means you know to everybody else as well to 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 value it rather than being right although it's also right in a sense but you know it's a relationship okay uh so anyway i'll just go ahead and so that's what happened and uh right guys thanks again for now for more videos you can look at the lower left hand corner of your screen and if you're new here please feel free to like and subscribe and always remember to be patient and kind to one another because that is what love is so see you in the next video